effect that it has on astronomical research is becoming worrisome. Amanda Bosch is the executive director of the Lowell Observatory. She says having dark and clear skies is crucial to researching our universe. What it means is that we can look at fainter objects which are generally further away and that light has been traveling for a longer time before it gets to us. We have ignition and liftoff. According to Orbit Now, which tracks satellites, there are over 10,000 satellites currently in orbit. 6,500 of those are part of Elon Musk's Starlink. The more satellites that are out there, then that means that the more likelihood that any patch that you look at will have a satellite in it. One of the main concerns for researchers is when they try to record images through a telescope, as satellites could appear and ruin the image. You might also get a whole set of streaks across your image that come from these satellites. Sometimes you might sit on one patch of sky for an hour, and then if you can't use that, then that was an hour wasted. Bosch says the satellites are a double-edged sword because Starlink provides internet access to rural areas and satellites show human accomplishment. It's a signal of, of humanity's advances, technological advances, and, and then I stop and think, oh right, what is that doing to, you know, whatever the science program is on our um, Lowell Discovery Telescope. According to astronomy.com, some estimates show 100,000 satellites could be in orbit by 2030. Bosch says the solution could be limiting the amount of satellites or regulating the size of their solar panels. It's not necessarily to say, no, you can't have any Starlink satellites up there. It is to say, how do we coexist? Reporting in Flagstaff, Mason Carroll for Arizona's Family.